What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlayBugGamer.com and over the next several videos I plan on playing random games. I received a lot of good suggestions and ideas as far as which game I should get into and I haven't really made up my mind yet and I'm not going to just go with one and, and deep dive into it. I want to play some of them, a little bit of everything until something really sticks with me and then I can dive deep. So it may be a while for you see like a series on something, a dynasty or franchise or whatever. And, you know, my last post, I talked about the which NFL game I should get into. And most of you suggested Madden games, specifically 04 through 08. And today we're just going to test some routes in Madden 2005. So the next video, you may see me playing Madden 08 for something. I don't know. You may also see me play some more old school stuff. I've been really getting on a retro kick lately. Playing, you know, Tecmo Super Bowl, King Griffey Jr. And, you know, NHL 94, NBA Jam Tournament Edition. I'm really enjoying that stuff. So maybe the next video, you may see me do some Tecmo. Just whatever I feel like playing at the time. And... In time, I may do a little series on something. Who knows what that's going to be. But until I make up my mind which video, which game I really want to dive into, you're going to see some random stuff. So back to what we're going to do today. We're going to test some routes in Madden 05. Normally what I like to do when I start any football game, I'll go straight to practice mode, put on the highest level, and test the passing game in general. Which routes work against man, zone, which combos work against each, you know, that type of thing. And we're going to do a little bit of that today. Now, I picked the Indianapolis Colts playbook. I've always was a huge Colts fan back in the day, especially because, you know, Peyton Manning played at Tennessee and, of course, with the Colts. And I just love their offense and philosophy. And the 05 playbook mimics the offense pretty well. It's not completely close, but it, it does a pretty decent job. And we're going to go up against a basic 4-3 today. But I'm just going to pick a handful of plays and just really practice and test these routes out and kind of see what works and what doesn't. Uh, so let's just see what happens. Now, I'm going to probably start off with single back deuce. This is your basic ace normal formation out of like instably 6 Let's start off with ace tight end drag. This is your basic shallow cross concept. All four routes look great in terms of their spacing and such. And all four are pretty common routes to use. So let's just go and just go up against every type of coverage and see what works and what doesn't. So this video is going to be a good example of how you see me practice certain things in a game, specifically the passing game. So let's go in here and let's just start off against man cover zero and see what works and what doesn't. Now, unfortunately, in this game, we can't go up against, we can't do the offensive skeleton. That way, you don't have to get worried about getting blitzed. So you may see me get sacked some today. But cover zero. So when I'm thinking cover zero, I'm thinking, you know, going one of the deeper routes. So we got to go route on the left with a post on the right. I'm going to just test out the go route. And that's good coverage there. Looks like Peyton can't get a good lob on that thing. It's a very low hanging... Play and I'm barely tapping the button. And that corner is consistently knocking it down. I almost got sacked. That's why that ball was short. We'll try that again. Let's see here. It's just a low driving ball and it really shouldn't be. We can check out the insta... Ah, dang it. Let's try that again. Let's go back here. I've just kind of noticed. We'll zoom out. He doesn't really hang it that high, and I kind of want him to, and I don't know why he's not. I don't know what that noise is, but either way, I don't know why he doesn't do that. So let's just try that again. Maybe I could do a back shoulder throw, throw of some sort. Does that help? Not really. That corner plays perfect defense, and again, I'm playing on the hardest level. Is that going to work? And that's get intercepted. So this may be a user control type of round. Either way, we're not off to the best start. Like if I maybe that's what's going to take to handle go rounds against cover zero. We can I'm barely and and if you can look at the the rosters really quick and see what I'm dealing with here. 
I got Reggie Wayne on the left side. That's who I'm throwing it to. He's got 86 speed. That's probably the reason why it's not working all that great. Now, I know I'm. this is sacrilegious. I'm putting Marvin Harrison on the left side of the field. But we're going to try that and see if that makes a difference. Let's switch him over. In the Madden games, your top receivers on the right side default with the number two guy on the left. If you got a, a normal formation. So let's try this. So we should have... Well, Harrison should be over there. Let's try that again. I, I should have Harrison over on the left. Maybe we'll have to select the play again. Let's just try that. And we're going to go up against just another cover zero. Okay, he's over on the left. So let's see if that makes a difference at the speed. It probably does. I can see he got a little bit of separation there. Let me try a back shoulder throw. That's just incredible defense. And their corners aren't the greatest in the world. We can go right here. 85 and 84, and their speed isn't great, so for whatever reason, their corner's playing perfect football on that go route, though. Even against a 97 speed Marvin Harrison. Like, I'm barely touching the, tapping the ball, and it's just not, he's not throwing it high enough, and I don't know why he's not. Okay. We can try the go, the uh, post rat on the right. I don't know if this will help either. I'm just going to lot well. They went covers. I don't know what they was going there. Let's try that again. I thought they was going to go cover zero. And they're not. I want to pick another play. And forgive me if this is probably going to be real boring to some people, but this is what I care about. Let's try another cover zero. Let's do this safety blitz, I guess. But this may not work because of... That zone, that linebacker going deep. I don't know how else to pick a cover zero and then I'm actually... Uh, let's do edge sting, I guess. Maybe this will work. I'm just trying to see if that post route will work against cover zero. Again, perfect defense every single time. Well, against cover zero, I'm not liking what I'm seeing yet. I mean, what gets me to want to play a certain football game is how much can you do offensively? If you can't do much offensively, you're just not going to have a fun time unless you're one of those defensive nuts who wants to see every game to be 10 to 7. But I want to have awesome offensive freedom in a football game. That's probably one of the reasons why 06 works so well. And onward, 07, 08, all those NCAA games tend to do a really good job with that. But right now, a lob into the post. I'm just back on sack. But a lob to the post is not that great. We can try to zoom it in. That's not good either. And Madden 05 may be like NCAA 05. It's like the Dark Souls of Madden games. It may be the tough one in terms of it's very defensive oriented. And if that's the case, I may not enjoy it that much because, I, like I said, I want to be able to do stuff creatively on the offensive side of the ball. So that post rate is garbage against man. So, okay, let's try. Uh, now let's just go up against a cover two. Man, and let's test out the shallow and the dig. Shallow rack can work fairly well. And I don't think Pollard's got the fastest legs in the world. But you can get some yards out of it. I don't think the dig works all that great in this game. Like, it's covered pretty well. Like, if I'd done a dig with Harrison, I don't want him to do that short of a dig. Uh, let's just go back to... I wonder if you can... Let's move our tight end out. Let's move Clark over. See if that helps a little bit. I pressed the wrong button. Good job, Al. Let's try that again. We'll go over here. He got stuck. And that guy was just sitting there. Because the halfback isn't doing anything. So this isn't the best route or the best play in the world. We can get him out of the way at least. But it still gets covered perfectly. So none of this stuff works against man. So this isn't good at all. But that works okay against man. Now what we can try to do is let's fool around with 
zone. I don't need to test cover one. I mean, cover one to cover two, it's kind of the same thing, more or less. I'm just testing routes against man. So what we can do is test these out against zone. Now, I know some of these zones may act differently. Like, we can try the shallow. You just don't have anything guaranteed underneath. And I'm going to stay on the left hash for now. The go route may be pretty decent against cover two zone. Because you got a one-on-one -on -one situation against that safety. I may need to throw to him quicker. Let's just keep throwing at the Harrison here. I may have to lob it up and then do a one-on-one -on -one situation. Which, again, I am not a fan of that trajectory of that ball. It needs to be higher. I know Paint Man didn't have the strongest arm in the world, but it wasn't weak either. So, even a basic cover two, and this is what I normally like to try to test out. If you can't get stuff certain, if you can't get certain things to work against cover two zone, then you're going to have a tough time getting anything complete against zone. Because that's your most basic zone coverage. But I can see cover, or the go route working okay against cover two zone, which is different. Completely different than no six. You may have to fair you may have to use your catch it though. I didn't see much it, like for example we can go back and look at this. Normally a we can try this to cover two zone spy. Normally a post rat can work over the middle, but it obviously doesn't. Um let's try Let's go in the gun and try out some different routes. I think the slants work fairly well in this game. Let's do the slants middle. Uh, let's pick a different one. I want, I want to see all five guys going out doing something. Makes it a little bit easier. I don't need all the slants to do its thing. There's double post. Uh, let's try this double post. We'll go up against a nickel cover two man. Since we know cover zero is going to be a challenge. Uh... Let's try that zig out against man, see how it works. And that got... I think I threw it too late. Let's try that again. This may take a while for him to get open. And that play right there... only reason he was able to catch that, because I think was... The corner got a little too late on it. So he tried to swat it down. Which is still good coverage. We just got lucky there. So that's not a good thing. Let's try to zig out some more. And that guy just got right in the way of it. This is a deeper zig out, so I need to be a little bit more patient. Uh, another sack. Way too long of a zig out. Takes forever. See, that's perfect defense. So that zig, so zig outs don't really work in this game. Let's try this little dig route. Again, it's Harrison. Maybe it helps that he's got the speed for it. I got tipped at the line. My guess is, and somebody, just another perfect defense. My guess is these Madden games may be no different the way the NCAA games were. NCAA 04 was very offensive oriented. Well, it was more offense than defense, I should say that. And then they done a complete 180 on NCAA 05, making it purely defensive oriented. Then they switched it back over to 06, make it offensive oriented. I'm guessing the Madden games are the same way. My guess is Madden 04 is a little more offensive oriented. Madden 05 is probably defensive oriented. Then 06 probably went back to offense. But again, somebody can verify that for me. So the little dig works okay, but I wonder if it's just because Harrison is so good. The post route against man, just he gets right in front of it. Uh, let's try a curl rat on the right side. The curl rats do okay. It's not terrible. Had to get that one off quick and he drops it. Uh, let's just try it again. Nobody's really on him except that linebacker right there. Okay, yeah, it's right now. Nothing's really exciting me. Let's go... 
uh, they got the option rats there, but they're it's kind of hard to test those. Let's go back and go here and let's try the slants middle. And I will say this, I, I can't tell if something is man or zone out of the gate. So I'd have to do something differently. Have to have different progressions. The rat went okay, or the throw was okay. Of course, he got picked up there. Guy was just standing right over the middle. Again, because the, the tight end is just sitting there. So this is another bad play. This is where the custom playbooks would come in. And this is why I'm really testing this stuff. Once you figure out which routes work against what, then you can start coming up with some things. Because I guarantee you, this is just a bad play. I got to get out of this thing. But with the custom playbooks, you can really create some cool things once you figure out which routes work. <laughs> right now, not a whole lot is working against all Madden. Maybe that's my problem. I don't need to be playing on all Madden. Uh, we could try this. Uh, uh, let's do this go post. I like this little split play here. Let's go. So here's another thing. Go post. I don't think works in this game. Again, zone at least. That safety goes over to the post. But he covers both perfectly. You look at this safety over here. We'll back it out this way. He does a good job going over him, and then as soon as I see him go to the post, I'm going to throw it to the go rat, and he goes over there spot on. So that's perfect defense. I don't know what you can do about that. We can try it again. So he decides to go to the go rat right there. So... It's, nothing's a given with that safety. And I threw that off my back foot. That's my fault. Let's try that again. So you can do the go post. You just really have to read that safety. Because he may go one way or the other from what I can tell. And I got hit as soon as I threw it. Because it took forever. Because Harrison got caught on this corner. Because it's cover two, I think he gets caught all the time. I probably need to throw it like right here. But the safety gets right in front of it perfectly. So maybe the problem is all man is just really hard. Like, especially for somebody who's just never really played this game much. At least with a clean slate like I'm starting with. I don't know what else I feel like testing, because right now nothing is working. Nothing I can tell is like, okay, at least I can rely on this. you got to have something in these games where you can rely on. Right now I can't find anything. Even the play action is really tough. What little I've played with it so far. We'll go up against random formation. That's fine. Do, we, do I have the time to throw? Oh, yeah, that's a go route. My bad. What are my routes here? Uh, looks like they're going cover zero. Can I go to the fade? Can he get there? No, perfect defense. Uh, perfect. There he got right in front of it. And this may be a pick six. No, he's going to get caught. Let's try a different play action play. There was another one. I think it's from here. Uh, let's do this PA comeback. That's fine. We'll go up against the nickel. Random formation. And he got caught. You notice over here the corner. Yeah, once you get caught, it's it slows down the route. So that was a cover two zone. That's the only reason why that happened. That's cover two zone. Okay. This should be mad by fixing to get sacked, and I am. All right, you think it's cover zero? I'm going to try to go to Stokely on the slot. And I got sacked practically, led to a bad throw. That's a very slow play action play. Really slow. Harrison on the shallow, but it gets stopped perfectly. So I think I'm going to stop. I've seen enough. 
Somebody can maybe change my mind on what I'm doing wrong, or maybe that's just the way this man 05 is. Maybe it's just super tough on the highest level, and I need to back down to, in order to enjoy this. But if that's the case, I could do that. That's fine. So like I said at the beginning, uh, the, the next few videos, I may play something completely different. Like I said, I'm even going to do some retro stuff as of late. I'm really enjoying that. So you may see some Tecmo Super Bowl or NBA Jam or something of that sort. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.